clouds party once upon a time on a beautiful day when sunshine was spreading over the ocean mr wynn was busy bringing clouds to the area where they are supposed to have a party a party yes you heard it right while the sun was smiling and still spreading her warmth over the big blue ocean and watching the dances of waves Small clouds were sitting beside each other and waiting for other friends. Inside one of the clouds, five blue water drops were chatting excitedly about the party. One of them looked a bit nervous, so her friends tried to help her and describe what is going to happen. The drop with a bow started to talk and said, I can't believe I'm back to the ocean now. It is so exciting. The last time I left my home and traveled this far from the dam was ages ago. But when the season changed on a hot summer day, I and my other friends left the dam and came up into the air waiting for our clouds to arrive. We had to wait for a couple of days, and during that time, we made the weather so humid. The second drop with hair said, Oh, that sounds interesting. I came from a lagoon that is so close to here, just beyond those green trees on that island. This is a normal trip for me and my friends, as we always travel from the lagoon to the ocean by rain. I have so many friends in the ocean and on the island. The third one with a scarf around her neck said, Lucky you. My journey was so long. I live on top of the mountain far from here. Our friends covered the mountain with a white snow blanket. This summer, the weather was much warmer than last year. The cloud that picked us up was driving fast in an express on the air highways of the sky. So we all had to evaporate and get in many clouds and leave the mountain. But I have been in the ocean before, so this is not my first experience. The fourth one with a hat added, That's right. I was with my friends in a washing machine. I guess I had been in the dam too and met some of the dam drops there. We came out of the water tubes and left the machine with the wash clothes. When the human left the clothes basket on the balcony, we took the sunshine elevator to our cloud. This is not my first experience in the ocean either. Then he turned his head to the nervous drop and added, See, we all come from different locations with our clouds, so you don't have to worry. Traveling in the ocean is fun. I am so excited to see how the world is underwater again. The nervous drop added, You must be right. I came from a wastewater treatment plant. I was with my friends in the factory and some of them left us when they were making canned food and traveled with the vegetables to people's houses. But we had to go to the backyard with so many strangers. I met chemical dirt from food leftovers, plastics, and more. But then they separated us and left us in a pod while those strangers got stored in barrels and moved by truck somewhere I don't know. When they heated us in that pot, we got cleaned and left the pod as humidity and gradually found many clouds and traveled by them to here. Can you see that dark cloud on the left side behind those trees? That is our factory. It is good to be here. We are all clean now, but this is my first trip to the ocean, and I'm not sure what is waiting for me there. So what are we waiting for? Shouldn't we start our journey? The drop who came from the snowy mountain said, Oh, that's a good question. We are sitting here waiting for the cloud drivers to bring more guests. In fact, when all clouds arrive, they start a great party with clapping hands and high fives. We can easily hear their joy and see the lights they make to get ready for our jump. When clouds hug each other, we should jump. Sometimes bigger clouds will come too, 
and it will be noisier with millions of drops jumping down all together. Sometimes drivers are in a hurry, so they must drive faster so you can see big waves in the ocean. So the ocean gets ready for our party too. They are dancing and celebrating our arrival. After their greeting, we can go deeper and see our friends, turtles, dolphins, fishes, rays, and octopuses, all of them living in their houses in reefs and algae. Little drops continued their chat while waiting. On the outside, other clouds wearing different colored dresses, mostly gray, were coming happily toward these little clouds. As soon as they arrived, clouds did high fives. The sound of clapping was mixed with light and gradually the party started. Sun gradually collected her sunshine and moved back and let the clouds start their party in front of her. All drops got ready and suddenly felt a bit of pressure from their cloud hugging another cloud. Yes, this was the time. They all held hands and counted down. Three, two, one, now. And they jumped. Our little drop held the hand of the drop with a bow and jumped down while laughing and enjoying Cloud's party. Suddenly, the little drop could see some drops coming down with their clothes having different colors like red, yellow, green, and orange. Lil Drop asked the hat drop, Oh, look, who are they? They don't look like us. Where are they coming from? The other drop answered, Wow, they must be the lucky ones, and got some colorful dresses from the sun. Then shaped the bridge of the rainbow, and now are jumping into the ocean. Maybe next time we can be lucky enough to be a rainbow too. Now get ready. We are so close to joining the ocean and seeing a new world. The drops held their hands tighter and dove into the waves joining billions of other drops in the ocean. The little drop was so happy to finish the trip successfully and could not wait to see the world of the ocean. The End